the Kuwait Women's Cultural and Social Society was able to contribute in the empowerment of women in various fields such as literacy, training and education, humanitarian aid at local, regional and global levels, health care, political rights, child care, women's civil rights and social development, support and encouraged youth activities. Today we stand united, continuing our support in strengthening our women, and so we pride ourselves of one nation, one country, one vision. KWCSS, 50 years. Welcome back, dear viewers, and uh, we have an interesting segment now in Good Morning Kuwait. You know, uh, our guests are uh, Mrs. Uh, Michelle Lishwehan and Mrs. Sharif al khamis members of Women, Culture, and Social Society. Good morning, uh, Ms. Michelle. Good morning, Ms. Sharifa. Good morning. Good morning. And it's uh, uh, our honor and, you know, really our pleasure to have you in Good Morning Kuwait in this uh, uh, segment and definitely... Uh, representing a such uh, organization that has a great task and noble jobs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank You're you most you. welcome and thank you for being with us today in the studios. Women, Culture and Social Society, one of the well-known entities and we always have a pioneer women from there. I know last week we're celebrating the Women's International Day. Exactly. So let's talk more about the entity itself. What about the main ideas about the entity, Mashal. Who wants to want to answer first? No, Sharifa, she will. Sharifa, start. Sharifa, okay. The mic with you, Sharifa. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, thank you very much for having me. So, the Women's Culture and Social Society was established in 1963. A month ago, we actually celebrated the 59th anniversary. The main aspect of having such entity was because of those, uh, let's say, the young female graduates who mm -hmm. actually went abroad to study. And they wanted to transfer the type of knowledge and experience and the progressiveness with what they saw abroad in Kuwait. So it's more of a way to serve their country and to have a better way in moving forward as, as a way. So first they started, for example, on education, women empowerment, uh, believing in democracy as much as mm -hmm. a system, which is the main essence of Kuwait and how we actually went forward with it as well. So... The, the goals are actually very broad, but if we could actually summarize them to two or three points, defending women's rights, mm -hmm. empowering the youth, and to be more connected to our Kuwaiti roots in a way. Nice. This is like the main idea about the women culture society. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Abdul Aziz, uh, they say uh, uh, women uh, have a society. Actually, women are all the society because, you know, they raise men they make men and you know as you know there is a huge beautiful uh, po uh, that uh, regarding you know uh, the mother definitely uh, miss uh, michelle uh, it's really a pleasure to have you and uh, you. i feel really proud uh, of the uh, uh, kuwaiti uh, women always you know and being in in, in in such places especially internationally also uh, let's talk a little bit about where does it stand toward the subject of domination violence phenomena now uh, these days? You know, unfortunately, you know, some, you know, uh, women, they come definitely in a need and they ha suffer, you know, from these unfortunate, you know, uh, circumstances. Okay, if we want to take, um, if we want to talk about women and how can we protect her, uh, we've, uh, first of all, we have to empower women. That's, that's why nice. uh, we always talk about empowering women to uh, protect her from violence, from less of education. So the knowledge that the woman have uh, in her uh, social life will make her more empowerment <coughs> mm -hmm. and will protect her from many violence that she can face in the future. That's that's really nice and a correct point. But there are some people, they uh, they mix up or they take by mistake. For example, they think about you're 
uh, association that oh they want to make women more uh, liberated don't follow the you know the culture and as a kuwaiti muslim society you know what i mean but definitely it's not like no, that not. definitely we know because you know i'm a father and as is definitely inshallah will be a father inshallah. definitely you need to protect your daughter when you are passed away god forbid and this and, is the and this is how you, you am i correct yeah. you educate her so you make her independent not dependent so if anybody comes to harm her she can't live on her own you give her the aspect that uh, can empower her she can face the whole world with these equipment mm -hmm. and she can face everybody the knowledge is the most important thing for women and for young girls uh, especially yes we are kuwaitis yes we are muslims this is our community but she have to be more stronger by education yes. and this will also after that as a consequences will gain trust, confidence, uh, success in their life. Exactly. And there is something else uh, instead of about the, this phenomenon. Let's talk more about <laughs> Sharif, about the domestic violence. I know these days, like, uh, it's happening circumstances. Sometimes the circumstance happens. So as a, a society, how about they are talking, talking about more about the shelters to gathering these women to, to, for this kind of the domestic violence? Well, this is a very interesting topic. Mm -hmm. First of all, violence is an international issue. Mm -hmm. Men do face violence as well, and I think this mm -hmm. is something that we need to address, that it's not just a woman's issue, it's a society issue. Society issue. It's okay. a fact because you have children, you have men, you have older men, like the elderly. Exactly, yeah. In their 70s, I mean, some of them do get mistreated. Mm -hmm. It's not in the majority, but we do have a few cases here and there. The women's culture and social society actually made a study with the KFAS and KFAS, UNDP. Yes. They went to three to four countries in the Middle East with lawyers to see the best practices on how to open and run a shelter. They went to, to Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. they uh, went United to Arab Emirates. Yes, UAE, and they went to Morocco and Tunisia. And they had the best, pr um, and they brought an international trainer to actually train. Uh, let's say the government sector on how to deal with these issues. So you have a study from A to Z, how to open a shelter, how to run a shelter, how the shelter should actually be, mm -hmm. which is very good as a start. We lack the shelters at the moment, but it's what we need to work forward and to move forward with it. That's very so important. Our, well. our guest, uh, our co-host Farid, let's talk more because it's like the domestic violence. Issue. Absolutely. Our guest yeah. Sharifa said it's like a society issue, not only for women, mm. for all. Oh yeah, ages. absolutely. It's it's not only females, you know, who are taking the heat. No, there are a variety. As she, there is child abuse. There, mm. are like elders abuse. You know, definitely. We've seen a lot of clips here and there on on the social uh, media. You know. Uh, housemaid beating an yes. old man. Who's for that old man? Definitely, you you our guys really. Yeah, mm -hmm. you guys really. Uh, you know, I uh, want to really raise the hat for you and salute you know Thank for you. You very much. noble and uh, you know uh, really profession and task. You know, doing this uh, on your spare time. You know, to provide a, a real uh, humanitarian service to our society and save our girls. And definitely, we. I remember even. Uh, there is uh, the the project of uh, saving a Kuwaiti uh, married woman to non-Kuwaiti. And Saf. And Saf, yeah. <coughs> I remember one one of my friends. You know, he he used to speak about your association, like you know the, the savior. You know? <laughs> you know how you are really uh, you know caring about them, and where where nobody was you know cared mm -hmm. about. Till but, now. Yeah, until now. Yes. And that's really amazing, definitely. Uh, but let's move on and say, uh, as a fact, the women culture society have her uh, contribution toward hunger, uh, poverty. Can you, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, Ms. Sharifa, uh, elaborate on that? Uh, there are many programs that actually enables women within. If you're talking about the international aspect throughout the history, mm -hmm. for example, we have Qariyat Hanan. Uh, which was made in Sudan for oh. the kids and so you, 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 women. So you, you're really working abroad? Yes. Ah, they, in the 70s. In the 70s, 60s, 70s. 80s, yes. yes. So, uh, so they went to Sudan. Mm -hmm. 
uh, they went to a, to a, they went to Kosovo as well. Uh, they went to Sudan. They uh, also they have another Hanan uh, in, uh, in, in Lebanon as Lebanon. well mm. they for the refugee in, kids, yes. if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they work in Jerusalem also as well. Yes, yes there are the other West projects Bank. in yes. Yes. Jerusalem. In it's not only in Kuwait. No, no, it's no, abroad. no, no. It's, uh, it's they work abroad. in Kosovo also after uh, the uh, the 90s crisis in mm -hmm. uh, Kosovo. Um, they work for many countries. Yeah. yeah. And there is something else also, Farid. So I, I mentioned like last week we celebrated the Women International Day. So yeah. what about the preparation for your society for that occasion? Did you celebrate on that day other. or <laughs> you were uh, busy? Who wants to start? It's, it's, it's a, I think it's a mixture of both. You're celebrating the previous achievements and you would want to move forward with it. Okay. Yes. So it's it's some sort of in between. You're dreaming at the same time you're working. Uh -huh. And non-stop uh, non mm -hmm. work. We are working all the time. Yani, uh, it's not only on the Women Day we so, are working. So tell us, tell us about the members of the board of uh, this association. Who, who's who's uh, now uh, the chairman or Ms. Lulu Al Mullah? Yes, Lulu Al Mullah. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. and Ms. Ghad Al Ghanem. And we Ghanem. also um, the we have Dr. Fatma Al Hwil, yes. and we have Mahal Murri. Mahal Murri, mm -hmm. and this also we have Moodle the health care program, as well. Program, Ms. Moody. Yes, Moody Al Scare. Yes, and uh, Sharifa Al Mashal. Well, and thank you. Thank you. Definitely, we are really proud of you. But uh, so, is there like uh, like membership for? Uh, Kuwaiti women to uh, register, or it's like just uh, you, you invite for any event? Any Kuwaiti woman can uh, be a member. She just uh, apply and she can be one of us. 21 really? uh, yes. and above. Yes. And, and she's uh, suffering from any problem. She can't come. She can. She can give us her ideas. She can uh, talk to us. Uh, sometimes, yes, we do. Uh, not sometimes. Most of the time, we can help. So basically. Uh, as a victim or as a participant, you know, in, in solution. Uh, uh, in all, in both ways. Nice. Yeah. You see, this is very, this is like something important. There is something else in my mind. When I go to any ambassadors in Kuwait, I and we and my co-host Farid and all my colleagues in Good Morning Kuwait, we interviewed ambassadors. I see how they are proud sp speaking about the Kuwaiti women. Yeah. Kuwaiti women are strong. Kuwaiti women are pioneers. Tell me, tell me something about example about the Kuwaiti women. Like some, you mentioned the names. You mentioned about the working crew. Yeah. Yes. Mentioned some of the Kuwaiti pioneers. We have Ms. Lulu al -Gatami. She's yeah, the Lulu role Gatami. model of oh, yeah. uh, most of us. Um, uh, she's the mother of the uh, Kuwait uh, culture so uh, society. And um, I met her two days ago, and she's always uh, there for us. Uh, when we want to ask about something, when we need an advice, she's always welcoming us and talking to us. And especially that she's a teacher, and I'm a teacher. Mm. And sometimes when I need some advice to make a program or make a project, especially with after the corona pandemic, um, I need some advice for some programs in the society. And she was always telling us, go for it, work, never be afraid. And if you have anything, just ask for it. Nice. Yeah, she's a she's a great role model. And even the, do you know that when you go to the to the, the, the to the society, the hall on her name now. They, Absolutely. They put the name on her, the name of Lulu Qatami yeah, on the, the hall. Yeah. The Absolutely. time when they are establishing their their book, like one year De ago. Definitely, Miss Lulu Qatami is a great great uh, person, you know, uh, in the Kuwaiti society, and she's well known. You know, you're talking about a woman who was educated in the late what 50s or uh, six, mm, 60s, maybe? late 50s. 50s. I mean, Abdulaziz, let's think about it. If you take a look at the Gulf, uh, Ms. Shwehan or Ms. Khamis, you know, the whole Gulf, you know, how, how many people they went that time, you know, to get educated? Maybe you count them on, you know, your... Count uh, your... Yeah. On one finger. On one finger, exactly. So so you're talking about Lula Batami, you know, such a, a great uh, character and, you know, well-known definitely to all of us, whether you, you agree with her or you disagree. You know, we with all her. agree, actually, uh, with her. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, let's. Uh, I mean, some on a broader perspective, yeah. you might disagree with her, but but you respect her. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. And also, uh, but there is a question for you, because you know, unfortunately, some people they have skept they are skeptical, you know, and they always think, you know, the bad scenario. You know, do you accept all Kuwaiti females or? There are some certain Kuwaitis and 
some certain ways. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. some people, they no, they don't accept because I'm from that area or that, you know what I mean? Sect, for example. That's a very interesting question. Yeah. Thank you very much for raising that up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I know. It's uh, no, no. Th Thank that's God you a, asked that. No, no. That's a perfect question. Actually, no. They accept everyone. Yes. You accept everyone. Yes, yes. They you do. You have no obstacle, yeah. no restrictions. There is no so. obstacle whatsoever. Mm. But people sometimes they view the media. I mean, not everyone actually wants to go on Instagram, for example, or to represent. Maybe they want to work behind the scenes. Okay. But there are many events where you find where. It, actually different women from different socioeconomic background actually represented the mm -hmm. women's cultural and social society. So if you go back to history and if you check, for Absolutely. example, social media. Not only to history, until now, everybody is From there. the starting point in 1963 till now. Mm -hmm. I mean, for example. You never uh, rejected somebody. No, no, yeah. no. I like to check the archives myself. I like to read. So when I went through the women's cultural archive, mm -hmm. I found the applicants uh, Files. From different I've uh, seen different backgrounds, backgrounds yeah. which is very Amazing. interesting Absolutely. to me. You have the engineer, you have the housewife. That's why yeah. Kuwaiti female and Kuwaiti women are strong. <laughs> and, and this is like something important because let's talk more about uh, the programs. You have mm -hmm. a variety of programs. Yeah, I see a variety a of question. press conferences, too many things. So what about the programs you are doing now also this, this kind of days? Okay, um, thank God you asked me that question because uh, starting from tomorrow we have uh, a program uh, with the Sustainable Development Committee. It's a new committee we established in the Cultural Society. And we have the educational team in this uh, committee. Uh, starting from tomorrow, we will start to work. Um, um, I believe that most of you heard about what happened for uh, students after the pandemic and mm -hmm. what they call it the laws of education. Yeah. So we establish a program. Uh, we work through uh, six workshops. Uh, prepared for teachers uh, to let them know exactly how to work with students uh, and how to apply their skills for uh, working with this uh, sort of problems. They will work with the skills that the student lose uh, during the two years that pass away and what they face in the online uh, system uh, through the education. And starting from tomorrow, we will establish, it's called Ta'sis, and we will start with Ms. Uh, Altaf al-Mushari, she is the first one. And later on we will have um, uh, some of our colleagues. We have Ms. Hanadi Karam, Farah al-Khawaja, um, Ms. Ghanim al-Kandiri, I believe you met some of them here. Mm -hmm. And yes. Ms. Manal al-Dehani, uh, Dr. Manal al-Dehani and Nafla al Harbish, And they are a member of the Women Cultural Society. They will have their workshop after the month of Ramadan. We are focusing on teachers, especially elementary school mm -hmm. teachers. Mm -hmm. And you will see that, inshallah, and some of the schools start to uh, call us and contact with us so they can uh, give, uh, uh, we can give them more details about this program mm -hmm. for their teachers. Nice, amazing. nice. It's amazing. Before we thank you, uh, just a quick uh, question, uh, Ms. Sharif al khamis Is there financial help for uh, Kuwaiti women in the need? I mean, to yes. a certain extent. There is, we have few committees inside the Women's Culture and Social Society. Zakat. We have the Zakat Committee, mm -hmm. we have the Student Committee, so you make and we have to the Health Committee. Yes. To, to, to some certain uh, uh, entities, yes. government. And they yes. actually help also Kuwaitis and non Kuwaitis amazing. as well. Yes, amazing, amazing. Yes, yes. I want to raise uh, uh, that girl for you. Thank you very <laughs> Thank much. You very much. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Uh, Mishal Shwehan. Uh, Ms. Sharif al khamis great thanks to you and you much, to Robert. the association. Thank you. Thank you. I think we reached the end, uh, dear viewers. Uh, that's it. Uh, see you tomorrow with another episode of Good Morning Kuwait. Until then, please stay safe and be good. Have a good see, day. See you tomorrow. Have a good day.